Hello! How are you guys today? So, welcome to our 18th class. Today, we are going to talk about modal verbs, ok? Of course, this is a very long subject, but we are going to start uh, talking about two kinds of modal verbs, ok? So, we are going to see today modal verbs to express necessity and modal verbs to express suggestions, ok? So, let's start with a text. Let's read a text about a very nice place in the United States, ok? Follow me then, please. So, vacation tips. Aspen is a wonderful city. If you plan to ski and see a lot of snow, you should go in the winter. There are many things to do there, but you must be prepared to spend some money. It's a very expensive place. You'd better avoid the high season when prices are prohibitive. You ought to make hotel reservations in advance too, because it may be difficult to find a room after you get there. Remember that you have to get a visa to enter the United States. Enjoy your trip, ok? So, this is a text that talks a little, that uh, explains about this nice place, ok? This is actually a ski station in the United States. I have a map here, if you guys want to see, right? It's in Colorado, ok? So, Aspen is in the state of Colorado. It's around in the middle, ok? On the Rocky Mountains, uh, around the middle of the United States. Okay, it's a very nice place to go. So, let's see, let's go back to the text here and see what we can understand about these tips, ok? So, do you guys understand what tips are? Tips is um, a tip is when you talk to, you teach somebody something important, something interesting about a place or about anything, ok? So, this we could call a tip, ok? In Portuguese, we would say dica, ok? Dica in Portuguese, right? So, let's see here what are the tips uh, this text offers about Aspen, ok? So, it says it's a wonderful city. If you plan to ski and see a lot of snow, you should go in the winter, of course, right? In the winter, in uh, winter in the northern hemisphere, right? Here in Brazil, it would be the, our summer, ok? So, there are many things to do there, but you must be prepared, ok? So, this must here is one of these modal verbs we are going to see today, ok? So, this is a modal verb that expresses necessity, ok? So, this is something that you have to do, you have to be prepared, you must be prepared, ok? To spend some money. How come? Why? Because it's a very expensive place. You also had better, ok? So, you'd better is the same as you had better, ok? We are also going to see this today. Had better is a modal verb too, but in this case, had better expresses suggestion, ok? This is something that you should do. You, maybe you don't have to do it, but it is definitely something that you should do. So, you had better, you should avoid the high season, ok? Why? Because the prices then are prohibitive. So, things are so expensive that it, it is difficult to do anything, ok? So, this is the mean of prohibitive, ok? So, the prices are so high that many times you cannot go there because you just can't afford uh, to spend your vacations there, ok? So, this is the meaning of prohibitive. Now, you ought to make hotel reservations in advance too, ok? Again, this ought to is another modal verb that expresses suggestion, ok? So, it's similar to should. We are going to see there is a slight difference between these modal verbs, ok? Especially these ones that express suggestion, but they, they, they are very similar, ok? It's the same as you should. Okay, you had better make hotel reservations in advance too, because it may be difficult to find a room, okay, in this case, of course, a hotel room, after you get there. After you are in Aspen, it may be difficult to find a hotel room, so it's better, okay, it's, uh, um, it's, a, good, it's a good idea to find, uh, to get a reservation before going to, to Aspen, okay? 
Now, remember that you have to get a visa to enter the United States. Now, here again, we have have to. So, have to, in this case, also works as a modal verb to express necessity, okay? So, this is something that is necessary, not only a suggestion, okay? You have to get a visa. If you don't have a visa, you are not going to enter the United States, okay? So, that's it. Enjoy your trip, okay? I'll show you guys again here the map and the picture of Aspen. Okay, now, let's see here the modal verbs we have today, okay? So, the first, the first group are the ones that express... Uh, necessity, okay? So, something that you have to do, okay? So, in this case, things that are necessary, okay? So, let's see. The first one we have is must, okay? As we saw in the text, for example, you must wear protective equipment, okay? So, this is a necessity, okay? So, in this case, probably it is forbidden to go uh, skiing, for example, or to practice uh, a sport, without protective gear or protective equipment, okay? So, this is something that you must do. It's necessary to wear protective equipment, okay? Now, another one is need to, okay? Need to, example, you need to bring your passport, of course, right? If you are traveling abroad, if you go to another country, you need to bring your passport, okay? And finally, we have have to, okay, which is the which is also very common, right? So, for example, you have to buy tickets to use the lifts, okay? So, the lifts are those chairs, right, that take, that take skiers up the mountain, okay? That take a skier at the bottom of the mountain and bring them to the top, okay? So, that they can ski down again, okay? So, these are the lifts. Now, these modal verbs must, need to, and have to, they are very similar in meaning, okay? This means they are interchangeable. I mean, you can use either one of them to express the same idea, okay? An idea of necessity. So, they are very similar and you usually you can use either one of them, okay? Always be careful because, look here, need to, have to, but must. We never say must to, okay? You must wear you need to wear, you have to wear, okay? But we never, never say must to wear, okay? No, this would be incorrect, okay? So, we do not use to after must, okay? Now, let's see now some modal verbs to express suggestions, okay? So, the first one is had better. Had better, often very common, we use this had, um, the verb had contracted, okay? Contracted like this you'd better. We usually don't say you had better. More often, we use you'd better, okay? You'd better avoid walking by yourself at night. You'd better avoid walking by yourself at night. Now, ought to, ought to, okay? It's a little strange pronunciation for, uh, for us Brazilians, right? But ought to, is also very similar, okay? It's not as strong as had better, but it's also uh, an, a modal verb that expresses a suggestion, okay? It's something that you should do, that you had better do, okay? For example, you ought to pack a suit. You ought to pack a suit. So, for example, if you go on a trip, uh, you ought to pack a suit. I mean, it is a good idea to, to bring a suit with you, right? Um, to pack is that to put inside your suitcase, okay? To, on, your, on your luggage when you are planning to go abroad. So, this is packing, right? When you prepare your suitcases and all, all the clothes that you're planning to take, okay? This is packing, the verb to pack. Okay? So, you ought to pack a suit. It's a good idea. Maybe there's a formal party, there's a restaurant that requires a suit. So, it's a good idea. It's something that you ought to do. Okay? And finally, we have should, which is also more common, right? Example, you should wear sunglasses. Of course, when you go skiing, this is particularly true, okay? Every time you go skiing, uh, because of the snow, the snow reflects a lot of the sunlight. 
so it's a good idea you really should wear sunglasses to protect your eyes okay so in this case the, these modal verbs are a little different than the ones that express necessity, okay? So they express suggestion. And there's a, there's a slight difference between them, okay? So we can say that the first here, had better, is the strongest, okay? So had better is a little stronger, is a suggestion. A little stronger than, for example, ought to, the same between ought to and should, okay? So we say had better is something that you really should do, okay? Really should. Very important that you do it. It's not necessary, but it's very important, okay? And ought to, it is important, you should do it, okay? And should a little, uh, also something which is a good idea, okay? But it, it is the weakest of them all, okay? I, I hope you guys understand that. Now, let us practice a bit. Okay, so here we have a sentence and we have to complete, okay? Now, in this case, are we going to use should or must, okay? Now, Brad is almost 40 years old, almost 40 years old, so he get married before it's too late. So, he should get married or he must get married. In this case, do you guys think this is something necessary or this is something advisable? This is something uh, this is a suggestion, okay? Yes, of course it is a suggestion, right? So it's not necessary to get married just because you are approaching 40, right? It's not necessary. But in our society, it's something that you should do, okay? You should get married before it's too late, okay? Before it's too late, right? Nowadays, things are a little different, right? But in the past, maybe this would be true. Now, you know the law, okay? You know the law, so there's a law. You carry your driver's license with you. So, driver's license is, is this document here, right? Is a document that allows you to drive, okay? So, is this a suggestion or is this a necessity? This is necessary, right, guys? You must carry your driver's license with you, okay? You must. This is something that you have to do, okay? Not only a suggestion. This is the law. If you don't do it, you are going to suffer a penalty, okay? You're probably going to have to pay a fine, right? Now, your mother is very angry. You go home early. You have to go home early or you ought to go home early. So, this is more like a suggestion, right? It depends on the mother, perhaps, right? So, if your mother is very, very angry, maybe it, it is a necessity, right? But usually, we can say this is more like a suggestion, right? So, which one do we use for suggestion? For suggestions, have to or ought to? We use ought to, okay? You ought to go home early. This is a good idea for you to do, right? Maybe you ought to go home early, right? Okay, one more here. It's a dangerous place to go at night. So, it's a dangerous place to go at night. You avoid it if you are alone. Now, you need to avoid it or you had better avoid it, okay? Now, is this a suggestion or a necessity? Again, this is a suggestion, right? It is not forbidden to go to this place at night, okay? Probably it's not, right? It's something that is possible. You can go at night, but it's dangerous. So, it's not, very good. It's not a very good idea to do it, okay? Now we say you the better, okay? You had better or, of course, contracted. You'd better avoid it if you were alone, okay? So, you'd better avoid this place. Now, are you going to Germany? You get a visa. It's part of the EU. What is EU? Okay, we are going to see. This is European Union, right? Now, go if you are going to Germany, as Germany is a part of the European, European Union, we Brazilians do not need to have a visa. We don't need, okay? So, in this case, is this something that is not necessary or this is something that, this is a, a negative suggestion? 
No, this is something that is not necessary, right? So we are not going to use should not. We are going to use you don't have to get a visa. You don't have to get a visa, okay? So remember, every time we are going to use have to in the negative, we need the auxiliary, right? Don't, okay? Or doesn't, okay? Depending on the conjugation, of course. Okay, but you can never say in this case, you haven't, okay? We just use have not, in this case, as the verb have, as, a, as an auxiliary verb when we are, talk, when we are using the, the perfect tenses, okay? This is not a perfect tense. This is common, simple present, okay? You don't have to get a visa. It's not necessary to have a visa to enter Germany, okay? So... And as I told you, right, EU means European Union, European Union, okay? So that was it for today, guys. I thank you very much for your audience, for your patience, okay? Next class, I want to talk to you about some two-part verbs, okay? Verbs that have two parts. Usually, phrasal verbs have two parts, right? Like, for example, when we say turn down the TV, okay? So there, there are some rules to use these two-part verbs, okay? Verbs that, that consist of two parts, okay? So next class, I'm going to teach you guys when we can separate these two-part verbs, when we cannot separate them, okay? So there are a few rules that we've, we are going to see next class, okay? So thanks again, thank you very much. Uh, send me feedbacks and messages, I always love to receive them, okay? Thanks again. See you next class.